Okay, so this is Stomp Trooper. Um, my real name is Isaac Winkler. I am back with a new series called Land of the Giants, and it's the first one I've done in a while. I've been moving all my files over to uh, my new Alienware laptop, which I got a couple months ago, and I've had lots of work, so yeah, it's been a bit crammed in. So this is my first video called Land of the Giants, and here is why. These are 40 plots high and 20 plots wide at the shoulders. This one is a representation of myself. It's one of my skins called Infestation. It's not my current skin. This this is the Stomp Trip skin I'm wearing right now, for obvious reasons. And yeah, one of my favorite skins. It's hollow on the inside, but yeah, it looks. It was a really good skin. I liked it. And you can go to Planet Minecraft, search for Stomp Trip if you want to get it. Uh, I'll put links in the description. But yeah. That's the representation of me. It's made mostly of wool, bit of wood, and yeah. The sword is probably my most favourite part of this. If you just look there, the sword is probably the really good detail. I really like how it came out, and yeah, it looks really good. And of course, it goes into the zombie standing next to me. The zombies, same dimensions, and yeah, pretty simple. Up here, just let me go up the hill. If there's any lag, I'm sorry if it comes out like that. Uh, I'm running a few too many programs at once, and Minecraft is set at full graphics as well, and I'm recording, so, you know, expect a little bit of lag. Doesn't seem to be doing too bad so far. This is the Ender Dragon. It is approximately 130 blocks long from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, which is all the way down there. The tail is 40 blocks long, the body is 35, the neck is 20, the head is 10, and the nose is 10 long. So add all of those up and you get, well, you get that. Um, so I'll, up you, I'll t keep you updated, that's only the skeleton of the Ender Dragon, and of course I'm going to keep working on it over time. The other one I am currently in the midst of working on, since you know, Ender Dragon will take a while to get all the black wool for. The other one I'm working on doing is the skeleton. I've only done the legs, but it looks like it's turning out alright. And I've only, yeah, it looks pretty. Good. It's the right color, right shape, and yeah, it looks really, really good. So as I said, I'm intending on doing all the mobs from Ender Dragon to myself to zombies to cows, pigs, sheep, whatever you know, all mobs I'm doing. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's the first episode of Land of the Giants. It's quick and simple, but that's the whole idea of fraps. I'm using fraps at the moment because, uh, bin band cam, bandy cam has some issues with After Effects, so I went back to fraps and it's working like a dream again. Um, just have to remember to compress it. <laughs> yeah, so that's the Land of the Giants. So, done myself and the zombie. I'll keep you updated on the skeleton and the Ender Dragon. I'm probably going to start on another one because finding light grey wool is a real pain in the neck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it behind the scenes and I'm going to tell you how I get all the wool. As you can see on the side there, there's a sneak preview. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you how to get all, I've got all the resources and all the different things. I'm also going to show you my TNT cannon, not as part of this Land of the Giants series, but as a separate series and yeah so thank you for watching like subscribe favorite you know all the extra things share it if you want to um, any relevant links will be in the description so thank you to Hat Ventures for the inspiration and it was in their Forsaken Lands episode somewhere it was uh, they did time lapses I'm not going to do any time lapses unless you want to so if you want a time lapse please say in the comments uh, I've had lag issues with that before, causing After Effects to crash, so I'm willing to try it again though because I have a better idea of what I'm doing this time. So yeah, keep an eye out for the new videos coming out, and behind the scenes will be next. So yeah, keep an eye on that, thank you for your support, and this video will be up shortly, of course. Behind the scenes will be another day or so, so keep that in mind. Thank you for watching.
and see you all soon, and good day to anyone from Hack Ventures. Thank you.